we have to find the relation of relativistic kinetic energy so for that relativistic kinetic energy t that is equal to given by integral of dw that's equal to integral of f dot dr here force and displacement is in the same direction so it would be like f into dr now the limit is 0 to r because it is dr ok now this force can be written as integral of sorry derivative of momentum that is ddt of mv so we replace it as ddt of mv and this dr can be written as from v equal to dr dt dr is replaced by v dt so v dt and now the limit goes to 0 to t because this is dt it goes to 0 to t now we can return this like v into dt of mv into dt with a limit 0 to t that's equal to integral this dt and this dt will be cancelled so it will be v d of mv now since this is d of mv the limit would be changed in 0 to mv ok now here we have to integral this integrate so we use the formula of integral u into v that is equal to u integral of v minus total integral of derivative of u into integral of v so we apply this formula in that case where that is u and that is v let us take so it will be u that is v into integral of this part so it will be mv minus derivative of v that is dv that is dv into integral of the second part that is simple mv ok so that is mv square simple minus this part remains the same so it will be here the dv so the now m can be replaced as m0 by root over 1 minus v square by c square where m0 is the rest mass so we replace it m0 by root over 1 minus v square by c square into v ok and now this will be mv square minus now you can see since that is dv so the limit changes to 0 to v simple 0 to v and this m0 is constant so it comes out of the integral and the remaining part v dv by root over 1 minus v square by c square ok now we have to integral this part so we take this part at z square so 1 by v square minus c square is equal to z square now differentiating over it we get minus 2v dv by c square that is equal to 2z dz or v dv that is equal to minus z c square dz now we can replace it with the term this ok and this so it will be like mv square minus m0 in the integral we replace this vdb term with minus z c square dz 
by this term can be written as z so and the limit goes to for v equal to 0 z equal to 1 and for v equal to v z becomes root over 1 minus v square by c square ok so that is equal to mv square minus m naught this z and this z cancelled so remaining this minus this minus make plus positive sign and c square is the constant so comes out of the integral and the remaining integral dz with the limit 1 to root over 1 minus v square by c square now the integral would be z with the limit 1 to root over 1 minus v square by c square now we put the value of in integral limit so it will be root over 1 minus v square by c square minus 1 that's equal to mv square plus m naught c square into this root over 1 minus v square term minus m naught c square that's equal to mv square plus m now you can see that we take that m equal to m naught by root over 1 minus v square by c square now we replace m naught with m so it will be m into root over 1 minus v square by c square into c square into root over 1 minus v square by c square minus m naught c square and that is equal to m v square plus this m into this is square and this term and this term becomes after multiplication 1 minus v square by c square minus this m naught c square so that's equal to m v square plus m c square minus this term and this term becomes m v square minus m naught c square and now this mv square and this mv square cancelled out so remaining mc square minus m naught c square thus we get the term of relativistic kinetic energy t that is mc square minus m naught c square where m naught is the rest mass